Welcome back to the Nikki Clark Radio Show on Hotline Radio. The show is about conversations that matter, transforming lives one story at a time. And we have another great individual with us today. She's an author and psychotherapist. Please welcome Elka Schultz to the show. How are you doing today, Elka? Thank you. I'm doing great. Thank you. Fantastic. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time today. I know you're very busy. But um, let's uh, get into knowing more about you. And the first question is, uh, tell me about your background leading up to creating what you're doing today. As a child, I suffered from migraines and anxiety, though back then we didn't talk about it. So I had flu symptoms, lots of headaches. You know, my dad thought I was faking Uh, Mm -hmm. My mom would let me stay home, and of course it was around, you know, exams and projects and things like that, and as a teenager, I stuttered. I still kind of switch my letters and words. I I have a little bit of dyslexia, and when I get excited or nervous, then I do it worse, but most of my friends and people don't mind. And then in my 20s and 30s, I had so much anxiety that I, I had that paralyzing na- nausea and had trouble getting out of bed and doing things. And I also didn't realize at the time, and as a single mother, I lived in poverty most of my adult life. And I didn't really know that at the time. However, mm-hmm. uh, what, I, what I did notice one day is I was driving through the streets in Bracebridge and you know it was a great sunny day. I was driving my van and I thought, you know, I've got two healthy kids. I'm really healthy myself. I have a nice home, a nice place to live and I felt really depressed and I thought I should be dancing in the streets because I have so much and people there'd be millions of people that would say, you know, I'll take your life in a second. And so that really started a journey to discover, you know, why was I into more of this depressive a negative state, and, and I really made an effort to change that. So what happened is, the short story is, I, I actually ended up going back to school, following my passion, and and then when I started my private practice, so this is a big fast forward, and uh, what I noticed is that people were coming into my practice, and 9 out of 10, if not 10 out of 10, were suffering from anxiety and, of course, mm-hmm. I was ma- starting to manage my own anxiety. So I started these handout sheets and making notes because I'm really a, a facilitator at heart, and I, I wanted to share this and you know, give people take-homes. And then one day I realized that, oh, my gosh, there's a book here, and we can do this. It doesn't have to take hours and hours of therapy or hundreds of dollars, and we can do these strategies. Like There's so much out there, and it's so accessible that, we can lower our anxiety with these strategies and people do that when they get the book or when they come to a talk and and that's been my whole passion is to get it out there as easy and as quick and to as many people as possible. Awesome. Awesome. So who are the people who gravitate to you? Well, I find, you mean in my private practice or in the talk? In your private practice, yes. Well, my private practice, Probably, I don't know, about a third to a half is uh, first responders, so police, nurses, doctors, paramedics, firemen, they come, so I'm, I'm doing therapy. And then the other part of my practice is couples, teens, kids, families. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Awesome. And then the talks, who come to uh, hear you speak? What, what type of individual? Well, we just well, mostly it would be it's it's people that probably mothers, parents. Mm-hmm. They'll come for themselves, or they come for somebody else because that other person is perhaps too anxious to come to a talk, right. and they're suffering. So it's it's really hard. And mm-hmm. so sometimes the loved ones come out and they, they get the strategies and bring them home. Okay, awesome, awesome. Now, how has your life been transformed by doing this passion work? My life? Well, yes. <laughs> I realize that I have anxiety. And so I manage it, I think, really, really well. 
I feel like I've transformed my life. People that have known me for the last 20 years can see that I've totally changed my life. I have a successful practice. I've written three books. I'm on writing the fourth book. Wow. I feel phenomenal. I'm super healthy. Mm-hmm. So that that has been a huge, huge change in my life. Yeah. And how do your children feel about what you do? They're totally supportive. I have a great relationship with my son and my daughter. They're really healthy young people, and they're doing really well in their lives, and they support their mom. <laughs> that's great. That's good yeah, it is, it is great, support. and and that's everything, you know, to have a great relationship with your kids. Mm-hmm. So what's next for you? Well, I thank you for asking. I'm writing uh, Anxiety Warrior Volume 2, what I realized after the first book, that there are so many more strategies and stories, heartfelt stories. So it's going to be a collection of stories of people that have managed their anxiety, sharing their strategies, how they did it. So I'm really super excited about that. And we're running another Anxiety Warrior project up here in Bracebridge. Mm -hmm. It was super well attended last year, and and we're looking, well, it's going to be really well attended again. We know that people are saying, you know, thank you for opening the doors and the conversation. Thank you. I feel like I'm behind the doors getting these secrets, that which aren't secrets, that are in our community, and people were just so grateful. And then people are still talking about it, so to me that says it's a successful event, and so that's what I spend my time doing. Fantastic. Well, I'm really proud of everything that you, you have achieved. Um, you've uh, overcome a lot and you've taken um, everything that you've learned and you've been able to turn it into a blessing for others. So it's really quite amazing what you've accomplished. And uh, so how can people reach you? How can they make that connection for one-on-one or to go to one of your um, seminars or to get a copy of the book? They can check out my website. It's triple W, and it's my name. And I don't know. Do you want me to spell my name, or how? How do you want? Yeah, me to sure. Do that? that that would be helpful, I think, for the. Okay, listeners. so it's Elka Scholes, mm-hmm. and it's E L K E S C H O L Z dot com. Right. So they Google that, and lots will come up. I have a pretty good website. The other cool thing on the website, you don't have to sign anything. You can just go on there. There's tons of resources, free resources, YouTube, downloads, a resource page. You can also get the book there if you want to go on Amazon. You can do that. Mm. It's available internationally. Um, and I think, you know what, I, just, I do want to say what fuels my fire is when people come back and say, wow, this is working, it's helping me, and that just drives me. It really does. It gets me excited and I just want to do it more and and I think we can do this as a community and and keep going and get healthier. Absolutely. Well, it's been a pleasure uh, listening to you and uh, thank you so much for, again, for what you're doing in the community to help so many people. So uh, you've been listening to the Nikki Clark Radio Show on Hotline Radio uh, with uh, the very special guest we have, Elka Schultz author and psychotherapist, and uh, she's got wonderful things to help people uh, manage their anxiety and how to live uh, an abundant and uh, healthy and happy life. So we thank her for her pearls of wisdom. And also you'll be able to catch her live on the stage at the Nikki Clark Show coming up in uh, the very um, short distance of uh, uh, time in in the future. So uh, Elka, thank you very much. Have a a blessed day, and uh, we'll catch up with you very soon. Thank Thank you. Thank you, Nikki. You too. Take care. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye.